sometime around 2012, small invaders from Southeast Asia slipped into southeastern Pennsylvania. For the next two years, they stayed under the radar as they quietly went about their business, eating, mating, and multiplying, until they were discovered and reported by a Pennsylvania Game Commission employee. On September 22nd in 2014, the Pennsylvania and United States Departments of Agriculture confirmed the presence of the spotted lanternfly in Berks County, Pennsylvania. This was the first detection of this non-native species in the United States. Once you have seen a spotted lanternfly, it is hard to miss them. They are rather large and distinctive looking. The spotted lanternfly adult is approximately one inch long and a half an inch wide when it is at rest. They have red hind wings, which they show when they are startled or when they fly. But most of the time, the adults rest with their forewings folded over their backs. These forewings are gray mauve with black spots. Spotted lanternflies do not directly harm humans or animals through biting or stinging. They do not feed on dead wood such as house frames. Instead, they have a long, thin, piercing mouth part called a proboscis that they insert into the trunk, stems, or leaves of host plants and feed on the sap. A single spotted lanternfly doesn't do much damage, but lanternflies tend to feed in groups which can weaken plants, diminishing crop yields, and making plants susceptible to disease. However, these aren't the only problems caused by spotted lanternfly. As they feed, spotted lanternflies excrete copious amounts of partially digested sap called honeydew, which is high in sugar content. Honeydew sounds rather pleasant, but it is far from that. This sugary substance quickly accumulates under where the insects feed and a black sooty mold grows on it. The foliage in this picture is not wet with water. These plants are covered in sticky honeydew and are developing sooty mold. The honeydew and sooty mold harm vegetation and make fruit inedible and unmarketable. Living in an area infested with spotted lanternfly can be a nightmare. Swarms of insects cover trees. Honeydew and sooty mold contaminate anything that is under the infested trees, including houses, outdoor furniture, play equipment, and ornamental plants. The mold can have an unpleasant odor and the honeydew can attract stinging insects. The honeydew and sooty mold are difficult to clean and make outdoor living unpleasant. This photo shows outdoor steps that were under an infested tree. Sooty mold covers the top two steps. The bottom step and rail were power washed but did not come completely clean. Residents say walking in a spotted lanternfly infested area is like walking through sticky rain. You can actually see the swarms of spotted lanternflies and the honeydew raining down in this video. Many people choose to stay inside when spotted lanternflies are active rather than deal with this unpleasantness. The spotted lanternfly is also a huge threat to agriculture and natural resources. While one of its preferred hosts is another invasive species, Alanthus altissima, also known as tree of heaven, the spotted lanternfly feeds on many local crops and native plants. It has been seen feeding on more than 70 species of plants. Spotted lanternfly is especially problematic for grapevines, apple trees, and peach trees, as well as a number of hardwoods, including black walnut and maples. It has been seen feeding on hops and a variety of vegetables. Experts think that it could become a serious pest of ornamental trees and tree fruit. As the spotted lanternfly adjusts to its new home, we must be prepared to control the potential damage from it. These unwanted insects invaded South Korea in the 2000s. Within three years and with three separate introductions, spotted lanternfly infiltrated the whole country, wreaking havoc as it went, and seriously impacting grape and peach crops. If this happens here, the economic impact could be staggering. 
What is at risk from spotted lanternfly? Many valuable agricultural commodities. States where spotted lanternflies have been detected produce $802 million in tree fruit, $113 million in grapes, $110 million in small fruit, and $2.6 billion in ornamentals. Nationwide, these numbers grow to over $18 billion. Our abundant hardwood forests may also be at risk. Did you know that the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast hardwood industry is worth tens of billions of dollars annually? Our forested state and national park lands in these states draw millions of outdoor enthusiasts. They could also draw billions of spotted lanternflies. Many industries that depend on agriculture, such as shipping, processing, packaging, and other related services are also at risk. And this is just in the Mid-Atlantic region. Neighboring states and eventually the entire country are also threatened. For this reason, other states and countries could impose trade restrictions upon goods from areas where spotted lanternflies are found unless we work to control it. This is why, as soon as the presence of spotted lanternfly was confirmed in Berks County in 2014, the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture started a monitoring program and set up a quarantine area. As these insects spread, the quarantine area correspondingly grew and other states added their own quarantine areas. The quarantine areas now encompass most of southeastern Pennsylvania, as well as parts of surrounding states including New Jersey, Delaware, and Virginia. Chances are the quarantine areas will expand again. We have a lot at stake in the battle against this invasive pest. Therefore, it is crucial that the people who live and work in the quarantine areas comply with quarantine regulations. Please do your part to stop the spread of the spotted lanternfly and save the livelihood and quality of life for you and your neighbors in the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast regions and beyond.